In this tutorial, we'll show you several ways to split and trim your media clips. Let's start with a simple split. Let's work with this video clip I took at the Tarango Zoo in Australia. We'll drag it to the timeline. Now let's move the playhead just past the yellow fish. Let's do a split here by clicking the scissor tool over here. Notice now you have two clips, the left clip and the right clip. So to delete the left clip, simply select it, right click and select delete. So that's a simple split. Now here's another scenario. What if you want to remove the middle portion of a clip? For example, let's scrub the timeline. Notice that we have a giraffe scene followed by a koala bear. So the giraffe scene is in the middle of the clip. Now to remove the giraffe clip, we'll need to do two splits. We'll do our first cut over here just before the giraffe scene starts. And the second cut will be just after the giraffe scene. So this time we have three clips, the left, the middle and the right. To remove the middle giraffe, select it and hit the delete key on your keyboard. So we just showed you two simple ways to split a clip. Now let's clear the timeline and drag the clip again. As you can see the clip is 24 seconds and 23 frames in length. Now what if you want to do a precise split? This could be a requirement in many editing scenarios. Let's say you want to split exactly at 12 seconds and 21 frames. So this timecode tool over here is a great tool to do that. Now the timecode has four segments. You've got the hours, the minutes, the seconds and the frames. So let's dial in 12 seconds and 21 frames. You can use these arrow keys to go up and down or enter the numbers using your keyboard. Our playhead is now at exactly 12 seconds and 21 frames. Let's split here. So that's how you do a precise split. Now one more thing about splitting. Video Studio has a very nice split by scene feature. Right click the thumbnail and select split by scene. So this feature automatically detects all the scenes in your video clip and provides start points and durations for each clip. You can also adjust the sensitivity over here and then do a rescan. Now if you don't want to include some scenes you can always uncheck them over here and then click OK. But for now we'll just click cancel. So that was a quick introduction to splitting. Now let's explore trimming. So the difference between splitting and trimming is that splitting is done inside clips whereas trimming is done at the ends of the clip. Now let's clear and drag the clip again. Notice these orange trim handles at the ends of the clip over here and over here. You can simply click and drag these trim handles to remove portions of the clip from the front and also the back. Doing this reduces the length of the clip and you can see the new duration of the clip over here. Now let's talk about stretching a clip. Once again, let's clear the timeline and this time we'll drag this giraffe clip over here. To stretch the clip, press and hold down the shift key. Notice that the arrowhead turns white. So now you're in stretching mode. Now drag the trim handle to the right like this. 
and let's preview. So as you can see the giraffes are now moving in slow motion. So stretching the clip essentially slows down your clip. Now if you had some audio in the clip that would also be slowed down and this would sound unnatural so make sure you split the audio out before you stretch the clip. So that was a quick introduction to splitting, trimming and stretching. These edits are at the core of video editing and by mastering these skills you'll become a better video editor. Best of luck.